Joe, what do you got? It was, should I start my own business? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which is why I wanted to talk about it. Restaurant Punk, what's up? Restaurant Punk. Punk. What's up, Noel? Hi. <laughs> what's up, Joe Monzo? What's going on, Yanni? Welcome. Welcome, Welcome Joe Thank Monzo. You. Thank you for having me. Happy Joe. to be here. How you doing? Yanni, I'm great, man. It's can, good to see you. Can I ask you a question? Good today. Oh. <laughs> it was really good. We go back. We go. Me and Joe go, go back. back. It wasn't Carrie Restaurant Group when I started it working for It was just you. George's, George's place. place. Oh, damn. Just one restaurant. So Joe has yes, actually sir. seen me work yeah. physically. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, like I was working. <laughs> yeah. In the kitchen. Pete was too. Pete, I, no. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. The origins okay. of YB. The origins of YB. We have a cookbook. We're, we have a cookbook we're and on we one. have my book. We're doing two books at a time. You're going to give me the swordfish taco recipe? Yeah, Wait, absolutely. I just had a girl, the catering that you sent me. Uh -huh. She called me and she said, I just have one request. It's a private dinner. I said, okay. And she goes, can Peter make his swordfish no tacos? Shit. Incredible. Literally two right? days ago. Incredible. And he's never brought them. Back. We don't have them anywhere anymore, mm -hmm. right? The swordfish tacos. You know, that's the first time I ever tried swordfish. And you liked it. Loved it. No shit. All these years later, right? Yeah, man. Can you uh, tell anybody that's watching or listening just a little bit about yourself, what you do, why you're here? Well, because when I think of restaurant punk, yeah, you I doing? bet you think of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm a little punk, too. I started working for you, what was it, like 2010? I was like 15. 15, that's right. Little asshole kids skateboarding around Cape May with my buddies. <laughs> Wanted a job at a restaurant. My dad knew you, got me a job with you, and the rest is history. That's right, goddamn. I blame it. my caffeine addiction, my yes. nicotine addiction. Yes. <laughs> yes. All on you guys. So. Brother, I just saw We've you puffing on uh, the metal thing. Yeah, the, yeah, the metal thing. Did you switch over? What's going on? Yeah, Have you been doing that for a while? Eh, a few years now. Is that because you're getting married and you recently just got engaged? Why are you looking at me? Well, because I, mean, I can't just be. say Joe the whole time. I'm like, is like, oh, is that why? Okay. It could be. Uh, yeah. It could be, you know? Because, you know, uh, there's a thing about uh, significant others and owning a restaurant business. Yeah. So can you tell everybody what you do for a living now? Now I've bounced around from a bunch of different restaurants, even after I worked for you. Um, and now I own a coffee shop in Cape May Courthouse, conveniently located a few doors down from Petunia and Prohibition Creamery. That's right, neighbor. Yeah, oh, that's right. we're neighbors. Thanks for the plug. Thanks for the plug. Yeah. <laughs> you know, free plugs is what I do. <laughs> um, and I'd like to point out too, you know, Joe mentioned 2010 and worked at different various establishments. I always think that's one of the healthiest things you could do. Yeah. Not just to stay at one place, really just grab some experience from everybody. And now I see you using it on your own. One yeah. thing I'd like to point out before we get to a top, I think you have a top, I have a top, you have a topic. I have you a have topic. a topic. Yeah. Okay. Before we get to that, I just want to say that when I walked in today, I don't know when you opened your uh, establishment, if the whole kitchen was covered up. And I want to ask you, did you cover up the whole kitchen so you could hide back there so you don't have to talk to everybody? I strategically placed the <laughs> rack. It's so strategically <laughs> placed. So I could hide. Yeah. Because I, I never, I'm not really like that big of a fan of wide open kitchens. I'm just saying people like the owner. They won't talk to you. They, yeah. you know. Well, people see me through the rack and they're like, hey, and I'm like uh -huh. busy. I'm like, hey. So strategic, I brother. I down. I get I something out of the fridge. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm busy. Sorry. I love, it. I love it. All right, Joe, what do you got? It was, should I start my own business? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which is why I wanted to talk about it. Well, are, are we talking about business? Are we talking about restaurants or just business as I a whole? I picked business because right. what I, I I wouldn't really consider Coho a restaurant per se. It's more grab and go quick service. No, but you it's know, still, you've made it because you're especially with those, uh, the booth there. Yeah. The, I feel like people fight for seats at your yeah. place. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't consider it a restaurant? I mean... Not to like the extent of what you guys do, where it's table service, you walk in, you know, like you're sitting there and you're eating there because I'd say probably 75, 80 percent of all of our customers take it and go. Right. So but, uh, from a lunch perspective, yes, because they're on the clock. Right. right. And if they're not on the clock, they're going to chill out, especially if it's the morning. Yeah. But right during that lunch rush, when you get popped like you do. I absolutely consider you a restaurant. I know there's different right. classifications of restaurants, but if you're cooking in the kitchen, uh, what else? When it comes to a restaurant, what else is there? It's it's is it yeah food you're, service you're so, atmosphere, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, uh, does it say restaurant outside? No, no. they say cafe, but a cafe is a restaurant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. you want to argue that? I don't no, know. No, that's no, fair. That's fair. Your question is: Should I open a business? Right. Okay. Because my origin story is, it's a tough one. It's you know, well, it's just more or less like you need to figure it out. You're 
you know, 25 years old, you're cooking at a, mm -hmm. a, jo a restaurant in Cape May. Like you love the people you work for. You uh -huh. love where you're at. You're not making great money. You know? Well, I think that's a, a common, that's a common sense assumption. Well, some people are like, oh no, oh, you're rich. You're a chef. No, I'm not. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm a line cook. I'm not a chef. <laughs> that's my line. Yes. I'm, I'm not a, a chef. Cook. I would put Peter as more yeah. of a chef. Yeah, he's yeah. got the credentials. You so. know what I mean? But I just, uh, I, I kind of feel like now, a line cook. Even now, I'm yeah. still a short order cook. Well, if you have to do it all over again, how long have you been in business for? This, we will be three years in three years. November. And a lot of people don't make it past year one, let and alone year two. So opened in the height of COVID. Yes. Yeah, you did. Masks on, That's right. plastic walls up. Everyone was like, you're crazy. Why are you doing this? So I guess like, I didn't the think you were crazy. I, I, I thought you were a genius. I loved it. I was yeah, all fired up. I know you were. <laughs> yes. The topic I picked was more along the lines of like, would I open a restaurant business? Not in the scenario that I did. Well, but at the same overall, time, overall, it's interesting to, to discuss. Did you feel like somewhere in between uh, from 2010 and working amongst different establishments? Did you feel it inside that you, I want my own place? I've knew it. I've known it from you have known after, it after it was. I have to credit you somewhere along the line no, because that's you were it. my Stop. first Don't actual restaurant head. job <laughs> and working in it uh -huh. and you know seeing Nico run around with the fancy hat on that's going right. to lighting the cheese, <laughs> that's right lighting the cheese on fire. You that's know, what I'm talking it's about just exciting, exactly. You know, <laughs> yeah. so and breakfast. I've always loved breakfast. Uh -huh. I never, you know, when I was younger, I was always I was never like, oh, I, I can't wait to wake up at six a.m. every single day, <laughs> sure, and go cook, you know, like ten pounds of bacon yeah. every morning. You know. <laughs> are you cooking your bacon on the grill or are you putting it in a I almost oven? circled that topic. What's that? I almost circled that topic. Really? How to cook no bacon. I cook my bacon. <laughs> I cook my bacon on the grill. You do? One one strip at a time or do you flip? I got the the chef. You got the flip? I got the flip. He's yeah. got the flip. I got the, the flip bacon. I got the flip. All right. All right. But in the summer, we're going through almost 100 pounds a week. So it's. Well, what would you change differently since we're talking about should I open my own business? Yeah. Because this pertains to you as well. And we've touched on this topic before. If you had to do it all over again, I, I'm going to assume that you would say I would absolutely do it over again, but I would do this differently. Uh, I would put a dishwasher. Huh. Ah. <laughs> Good one. It's I never would, too late. I would put a dishwasher. <laughs> Why? Because uh, no dishwasher, you have a triple sink. Triple sink, so no dishwasher, my hand. no space for a dishwasher. No space. Yeah, you're tight. Because yeah. I, I got above ground plumbing, so I couldn't do it underneath. Right, right, right. And then I'm like just barely in code with the grill and the fryer underneath uh -huh. the hood. Uh, yeah, because they need the... Uh, yeah. I mean, the place uh, is yeah. 700 it's square tight. feet. Yeah. Well, Joe, I'm glad you mentioned that because so, George's <laughs> place it was also 700 square feet. Yeah. I don't know how the hell they got a dishwasher and all that stuff in there. It was yeah. just, I guess because it's that well, you long split it in half. Yeah. yeah. You split I feel like it the in format half. of George's is so different. Like it's long. Right. But everybody that's in there, because you've both been there, I've been there, obviously. People, are, when they see the kitchen, they're like, okay, where's the rest of it? I'm like, that's it. That's it. That's what we got. And you work with what you got. What's the difference? Exactly. If you wanted to order a pallet of something, because it would make your life so much more convenient, you can't. So you have to order more, order more daily, daily, mm -hmm. daily, because you're so Every tight day. on space, Absolutely. right? That's what I was doing when I got here. I was in my car putting in my order for tomorrow. Yep. You see? Uh-huh. I have to. So you would change the dishwasher. Yeah. That's the biggest one. Overall, methodically speaking, from a business perspective, like you do your own books. Yep. Like you're- I do everything. Right. So I so. think that's the biggest shock to everybody. Wouldn't you agree, Noel? Because Absolutely. now going into business as well this year, can you say? Yeah, I came from being a server into an owner and I had owned my own event planning business and everything, but it's completely like doing the books for like, let's say 10, 15 events a year is completely different mm -hmm. than everyday bookkeeping mm -hmm. between uh -huh what we're making between what's going out between just like everything. And then, yep. okay, we're doing a menu shift. Now let's right. do let's it all over this. again. Mm -hmm. It's it's completely, I don't know. What I think I, that's the hardest part about my the business. My idea of opening Absolutely. up a business was not even how close. much office time I was going to be doing. <laughs> I'm doing so much time in the office. That well, I think that's where I give accountants, bookkeepers, uh, and people that really spend 50% of their time doing a lot of the, the excuse me, bullshit work. Mm -hmm. Yep, But it really isn't. It's necessary. Uh, but I, I would actually be guilty of not being a great bookkeeper and not being great with a budget and just say, you know up. what, let's just go for it. Whatever happens, happens. We're open tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Maybe you fall behind. We'll catch back up. And that's always been the the mantra. Uh, if there was one thing I could have changed before I went into business because you were 25. Yep. I was also 25 when mm -hmm. I went to George's place. Uh, it was just a big, big shock as far as, wait a second, all this money's not mine. Wait, where does it go? I have to pay who? And I have to pay what tax? Yep. And I have to pay everything? And I found that I was overspending year one. And then I'm like, all right, slow down. So the advice for people would be 
uh, if you have 50,000 to put into a restaurant, maybe put it in 30 yep. and keep that 20 for year one because that's why a lot of people also, fail. They just, just fall don't behind. You know mm-hmm. what, like, you're not going to know what capacity you're going to need. You're not going to realize what else you're going to have to buy. Like, uh-huh. if something's not functioning properly, like, that exact thing, I got all this investment and I was like, boom, uh-huh. gone. Redoing the floors, uh-huh. doing this, doing that, new tables, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh shit, the dishwasher broke. We need a new dishwasher. Right. Oh shit, this happens. Mm-hmm. You know, like I didn't account for problems after I opened, uh-huh. like an idiot. Like obviously things were going to arise. I didn't think it was going to be immediate. And you don't realize, you don't realize mm-hmm. the capacity of what you're doing and Absolutely. what you're going to need day one of opening your doors. Mm-hmm. So, well, Joe said it was 700 square. It is 700 square feet. He did a complete build out, like tearing out floors mm-hmm. and you did oh, that. We had, I mean, yeah, we had to. The yeah. fridges were falling through the floors and right. moldy subfloors, all that. We had to yeah. rip it down to the studs. And that's that's the smart way to do it. And you'd be surprised how fast that money disappears it, when you're trying no, to we're do not, that. We're not surprised. No. We speak that language. Even, even when even when if, if it's just if it was just me and my brother in law doing it the whole time. Right. Yeah, you, you guys know? were there every day, just plugging away little uh-huh. by little. That's the only and, way to do it. But if you believe in your business, you believe in what you're yeah. doing, going back to should I open my own business? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Because if you weren't in business right now, you'd be doing working. Uh, yeah, I'd be working. Correct, for yeah. a paycheck. Yeah. And if there's a way to get into business, not only restaurants, not only bars, not only our industry, but I think any kind of business. And I think as somebody, uh, we've been talking about uh, us being on Amazon and selling on Amazon, and I've watched 3,000 videos on, want to be a millionaire, want to make this much money? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wait a second, something's wrong here. And now going into month three, I'm like, oh, this is very difficult. Yeah. So I think it just rolls right back around to business. And oh, I should open my own restaurant. I'm going to make so much money. Look at these guys. They're rich. Look at these damn Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Right. It's just all these people think it's like so easy to to just, oh, you know, you just go in there, you put a couple eggs on the grill, you flip them over and you put them on a Yeah, what do eggs cost? Oh, yeah, exactly. The eggs don't mean nothing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But it's going back to the dishwasher thing. It's the, the paper supplies. Paper uh-huh. supplies are yep. always fluctuating. Uh-huh. That's all we have is paper supplies. So it's paper. back and forth. Food prices are always fluctuating. And it's right. like I'm still catching up on my books from August. What books? You're doing the books? Come on, man. Leave the books alone. I got to do the books. All right. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys something that um, it, it, a lot of people will frown at. But so when it comes to keeping your books, right, you can take your receipts. I'm just going to assume you do this. You take a bill, you put it in. You're like, uh, oh, paid this on this day and put, I don't know, use QuickBooks or anything like that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and then one year, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. And I waited till the end of the year <sighs> and I just added everything up and I put total for the year spent with this company this much. You don't do that, do you? No. You should start. No. Why? I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, I like my, I got a little system. Oh, you have a little system? I taught myself, I taught myself this system. You have your own system? Because when I got into the business, all I knew how to do was stock a kitchen and cook food. That's all I knew how to do. I didn't know how to run a business. As as an employee, correct. Yeah. I didn't know how to handle uh, Mm -hmm. employees. I didn't know how to do any of the the book work. What are you saying? You know how to handle employees now? No. 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 no, no, (laughs) 25 years in, I saw, what? (laughs) I don't know, know, brother. Did you go to college? No, I I didn't go to college. I just, I just jumped right into it. Yes. And yeah, it's been good. Like I said, three years in and I'm loving it. I still love it. I still wake up happy. Not the same way you did right before you opened. No. You know, you just get into a, a, a rhythm and you're like, okay, I'm still working. Yeah. I feel like I'm working harder because uh, this is my name. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm doing. And, you know, it's it's just a different way of looking at things. And we always talk about freedom. So should you open up your own business? Uh, my number one reason is always for the freedom. Yep. And it's not to say I'm never going to go to work, but you know what, if I can, or if I want to spend some time or if I want to do this, I make it to a way where I can. Have you been working seven days a week all year round? Not you have. Yeah. For oh, three come years. On, man. Just train somebody. I haven't <laughs> for learned three, anything. I'm still working. It just, hey, you gotta, so why just don't you train. take a day off? I can't take a day off. You can, you can absolutely take a day off. Don't listen. Yes. You should open up your own business. But at some point, you could do six days a week. Maybe. Maybe, right. so, maybe at some point. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. Maybe at some point. All right, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. But I will say this. The reason why I would say yes, open a, open a business, a restaurant, so you can have your name on something. Yes. You want to leave a legacy, right? Absolutely. Not to get Absolutely. deep, but you know, you yeah, want to have, your name, you wanna yeah. have your name on something. Absolutely. You, know, you don't just want to be another guy in the back of the kitchen. Uh, listen. I have a uh, uh, a very close friend of mine that has taken that road. 
And I've mentioned him on the show mm -hmm. before, and he is now at the pinnacle of being a chef. He's with Jose Andres now, and he's worked for it. And we're the same age. We took two different paths, but like where he is, like he got that job as a chef, the chef of a Jose Andres restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that is a pinnacle. That's like having tenure as a teacher. Yeah. Like you're always gonna have a job no matter what. I just wasn't willing to go down 25 years of line cooking. Yeah. I mean, he's gone through this. I mean, mm -hmm. it's amazing. It's amazing. But he's very, very happy where he's at. And I said this again on a previous episode is that, is there any little part of you that kind of just wants your own business? And he said, absolutely, yes. So okay. he still wants it. So I'm glad you did it at 25. Should you open up your own business? Yes. yes. Restaurant pump? Absolutely. Yes. 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 <laughs> Yeah, Chris Rock, right? Stamp it on your head. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. Fired up today. <laughs> I'm Yanni. Joel. <laughs> Joe. Joe what? Say it. Monzo. Joe Monzo. Restaurant Punk, out. <laughs> Clap your times. That's what I'm talking about, Big Daddy. How's that? You hear me over there, Nico? You hear me? What you got? What do you want?